Hello and welcome to module two. This is a new module for the Grammar for Teachers with Learn Your English. And this is going to be an, inter an interesting module. Uh, I would say an intriguing one for everyone watching this video. You might be asking yourself, why? Well, this module, module two, and the next module, module three, are two of my favorite ones because they challenge many assumptions and the teachers have about language and they will really force you to question your own preconceived ideas and biases about language. We will also be looking at the English verb phrase at the formal, informal, and semantic levels. We will begin by looking at what we like to call the three amigos of, of language, of, of English. So we will begin by looking at time and tense and the difference between these two. We will also explain why English only has two tenses, misleadingly named the past and the present. We will explore this somewhat absurd notion that there is no future in English, and that instead we use the present to express futurity. We will also navigate the dangerous waters of aspect and dismissify the idea that tense is used to describe verb forms. For example, the present perfect, where perfect is the aspect in which we perceive the verb, but the present tense is part of it. We hope you enjoy this module. Some of our learning objectives include having a better understanding of how the verb system works, um, understand the difference between time, tense, and aspect, um, also be able to recognize the relationship between real time and grammatical tense, and finally, the last two learning objectives are to come to terms with the notion of distance, which is very important when we look at the past, and discuss and evaluate how to better teach the past tense. We hope you enjoy this module. Thank you. 